want this to look like this, please watch the rest of the video and follow the instructions. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, and in this video I'll be showing you on how to get your own custom logo or any type of custom image that you have into your booting screen for Windows 10. This is only running for a UFI BIOS mod, if you have the Legacy BIOS mod this will not work, so these are for the people that only have UEFI BIOS mod. And just to show you that I have the U the UEFI BIOS mod, you can and if you don't know for sure if you even have the UFI BIOS mod, you can search up system information into your Windows tab and you'll see. And if you come here into the system settings, you'll be able to see under BIOS mod that mine is UFI, UEFI. And if yours is a legacy, this will not work. This is only for the people that have UEFI BIOS mod. So I'll be posting the link in the description of the video of where you have to go to get this download. But once you click on it, you'll instantly be able to get a download file that will pop up. Just go ahead and extract it instantly into wherever on your computer, doesn't matter. And you'll be shown with a bunch of this stuff. Uh, we don't want to worry about any of this right now, but once that is all extracted, you have it in the er <coughs> Jeez. When you have it in an area that you're able to access it pretty easily, well, uh, now you just want to get your logo. Uh, I recommend putting it in Photoshop work uh, because you have to use paint on your desktop after we create after you create your logo or if you already have your logo you'll want to put it into a specific pixel resolution i uh, do recommend using 800 by 800 pixels and make sure that you have a black background and then you would just save it as a jpeg so i can show you for an example we're going to be pulling out my logo that i have and it is this one so you would just be taking a logo putting it on a 800 by 800 pixel resolution scale uh, creating the background black and you can mess around with anything you want after that But make sure we do want to make sure it's black and not a PNG or anything like that And once that is uh, complete and you have it somewhere on your computer just open up paint.net Or whatever you have paints if you type it into the Windows taskbar uh, just open up your image uh, Mine's already done I've done it previously and so mine's with the black background and I did it on a different resolution it doesn't matter what resolution you want to do, it's basically where it's placed and it's placed on the upper part of the midsection of your monitor. So just make sure it's not your entire computer size, or not your computer size, your monitor size. So you, if you're running 1920 by 1080 do not have a resolution 1920 by 1080 or else it'll be the entire screen and it'll look bad. And it will look bad. So just have 800 by 800 or 1000 by 800 or anything around that range will be good. Make sure the background's black. Then after you've completed all that, you just save as and you go to BMP picture and you save it as that. Once that is complete, you go back to your files where we have all the stuff we extracted from earlier. And what you do is you get the image that you recently got out of paints that you made a BPM, a BMP, sorry. And you put it into this folder, you delete the original splash folder that was already here, you delete that, you put in your new one, and you rename it to splash.bmp. Uh, so we'll remove this one. We will get our image that we were able to get before. Put it in. Rename it. Splash.bmp. Save it. And then now... Actually, you won't have, if your BMP instantly goes away after tabbing out, then that's good. But if your BMP stays up there, we don't want that. We just want it to be splashed because of the configuration is hooking up with the named file, which is splash. After that, you'll run up setup. You'll accept that. This stuff will come up. Um, you don't have to worry about this. Just don't close it. Keep this. Uh, just type in I. This will come up as a notepad. Just delete that. Uh, it'll confirm with the paint of what you want to use. You just close it. If this, if this is what you want, you just close it right away. And then it'll say it is now installed. And that is literally it. That's all you have to do. Do be careful. Follow these instructions. Don't be messing around with, with any of these things. Just close it. And you're done. That's, that's all. And thank you guys for watching. I love you all so much. And um, yeah.